Access to the audio system's features are the same whether you have a remote touch controller or touchpad controller. To use the audio system, first, turn on accessory power or start the engine. Next, press the knob marked Power Volume. To change the audio sources, press the Radio or Media button. Pressing the Media button repeatedly will cycle through the recorded media options. Pressing the Radio button will cycle through the types of radio signals available. AM, FM, Satellite, and those accessed through the available InformApp suite. To change preset channels or skip between tracks on a recorded source, use the preset track buttons. You can also press the menu button and use the controller to select a source by clicking on the media or radio icons. Selecting media or radio will take you to the last station or track played. To change the source, select Source. Then select the icon of your choice, AM, FM, Satellite Radio. Shaded icons are not currently available. Disc, USB, iPod, Bluetooth streaming audio, the apps in the Inform App Suite, an auxiliary device if connected, or AV source. Let's select FM and program a preset. Use the tuning knob on the center console to tune to a favorite station. Next, using the controller, click and hold one of the on-screen buttons. The system will confirm your selection and display the channel information in the on-screen preset button you chose. If you don't want to change one of the presets that are showing, select the up or down arrows to see the next set of presets. There are a total of 36 presets that can store a mix of AM, FM, and satellite stations. To avoid cycling through empty presets, you can limit the number shown. To adjust, press Menu. Then, Setup. Audio. Choose Number of Radio Presets and select the number of presets you'd like to view. To confirm, press Menu. Then, Radio. You'll see the number of presets has changed. To adjust sound quality on the audio source playing, select the on-screen sound button. Click the plus or minus buttons to adjust treble, mid-range, and bass levels. Click front and rear buttons to adjust fade. Click left and right buttons to adjust balance. Clicking on the DSP tab above takes you to the digital signal processing page, where you have the option of turning the automatic sound levelizer on or off and Surround on or off. Click the back arrow to go back. To load a CD or DVD into the audio system, insert the CD or DVD into the slot, and it will load and start playing automatically. To eject the CD or DVD, press the Eject button. The audio system also features an auxiliary input and USB ports inside the center console. When using the USB port, you can control many of your iPod functions. Gracenote technology will display cover art, such as album jacket photos, 
and the names of the album and artist if they've been stored with the music file. This technology does not work with burned CDs or Bluetooth audio.